Hello Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well and staying safe. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Gemini. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. So let's see what guidance your guides, angels, spirit and source energy would like to bring through this week, Gemini. Guidance for Gemini, please. Guidance for Gemini. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't resonate for you. Your energy, Gemini, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Pure effort, number 10. Enlightenment is not your birthright. Those who succeed do so only through proper effort. The first message I'm receiving for you, Gemini, is that you're really working hard at something. You are really focused or spirit if you're not and you know what this is about what you should be focusing on spirit is encouraging you to really focus on it because with your pure effort with this effort that you put in you're going to reach the outcome that you desire and sometimes it's about the journey so you moving through this energy putting in the effort and the energy the journey is going to bring about some kind of enlightenment for you this card goes on to say, consider all spiritual teachings as an intellectual exercise to be practiced daily, diligently and with discipline. This constant effort to maintain your daily practice is central to all spiritual practices that bring about per personal transformation. So for some of you, this may be about spirituality and making sure that you have a routine making sure that you have a ritual making sure that you do practice it in a frequent way because it's going to your efforts going to build upon itself and you're going to get the development that you need in this area so this personal transformation and this may not be spiritual for some of you. For some of you, they, this may be another area of your life, maybe relationships, maybe love, maybe, maybe a dynamic going on with a friend or someone you know. Perhaps this is a work thing for you. No matter what area of life it is for you, though, spirit is really bringing through an energy here of having discipline and practicing what you need to and putting in the effort in a real pure way, you know, really wanting to put in the effort, kind of making yourself do it if you don't feel like doing it, because the energy behind it is that you're going to be very successful in the end and, and tr it's going to transform something in your life or it's going to transform that area. The effort you're putting in is going to transform that area of your life. So this is extremely powerful. Beautiful energy. Let's take a look at your next card. Spirit messages number 34. Observe limitations. Now the message and the energy I'm receiving for you, Gemini, is that when it comes to limitations, perhaps you're thinking or feeling that there are limitations to the effort or energy, the practice, the repetition, whatever you're putting this effort into, there's limitations here I'm seeing for some of you and you're focused on them. And so spirit is asking you to take a wider perspective here, to look at things in a more holistic way. You're going to have a breakthrough. Some of you this week, they're telling me, spirit is telling me you're going to have a breakthrough. 
with a limitation that either you have imposed on yourself something that's going on internally emotionally mentally or that's been imposed upon you or that is around you circumstantially you're going to have a breakthrough this is extremely powerful stuff so yes observe what the limitations are continue to put in effort though and you're going to have a breakthrough beautiful energy very important message I feel for some of you to persist and the spirit messages so you may be receiving messages from your guides or angels or passed over loved ones in a way that is familiar to you they're telling me that for some of you you may have had contact with them in the past and for others this is in a new way or that may, might be where the breakthrough is with your spirituality and contact with spirit for some of you that's the case but keep a lookout for signs synchronicities and symbols embrace change it's okay to change what you are doing in terms of this focus in terms of the pure effort the first card the energy what's going on with you it's okay as long as you don't completely change the whole thing you know you could be focused on one particular area and then you know you may be tempted to do something completely different for example if you're learning a musical instrument just for example you may be learning the violin say and you're coming up against some limitations here and you're feeling blocked and you get the feeling that, well, I might just let this go and I might do something else. I might play the guitar instead. Spirit's saying, don't do that. Embrace change when it comes to what you are learning or what you are putting effort into. So you can change things in that particular area, but don't go and switch it up completely. That's the energy that I'm feeling for you. And this card says, I move easily and confidently through the changes in my life so embracing this new energy that comes in because a newness is coming in because with every breakthrough and I am seeing a breakthrough for you there's this beautiful this beautiful uh, newness coming in so there will be more confidence you will be able to move more easily feel more at ease with what's happening here there is a transformation happening and I and I and I saw that with this first card here so whatever this effort is you know you're working toward it proper effort you're going to have um, a breakthrough and move confidently forward really nice energy here for you this week cherishing self I accept and love myself perhaps it's time for some self-care Gemini There is an awareness that you're going to have this week around what you deserve, around what you really want for yourself, and maybe a little bit of indulgence as well. This is all part of understanding that what you're working on, whether it's a work project or a hobby or even a relationship, you putting yourself as number one is really important perhaps you haven't been able to focus on or put in the effort to something because you've been focused on others spirit is saying take the time for yourself it's really important the magician i love this energy for you gemini because this is about you manifesting what you want manifesting the change you want bringing about a newness into an area of your life or into this area of your life you are a manifesto this week extremely powerful for manifesting what you really want or desire beautiful energy here the ten of pentacles this is this could have been what you're focused on or this energy could have been around you for a long time so you could have been in a long-term relationship you could have been interested in this hobby for a long time or if that's not the case or you could have been working in a work environment for a long time if that's not the case then it means that you're going to be moving forward and it has the potential to be quite long-lasting 
quite long lasting. That's really nice. I feel this is something for the most part that you want as well. But you've been waiting, you know, this seven of pentacles, this means that you have been waiting for a change, waiting for that breakthrough, waiting for your finances to improve, for example, or your work conditions to improve, or it just, it just seems desolate, or it has seemed desolate, empty, maybe romantic love, it's been desolate, you've been waiting for this change, the seven of pentacles means that it's coming soon, my love, it's coming soon. And it's coming through your own effort and energy here with the magician. It's not just going to land in your lap with no effort. And that's why the effort energy is coming up here, because you're going to manifest this. You're putting the actions into place. You're making the effort to bring this change about. So it's something that you're doing that's going to change the situation for the most part. And the seven of cups. We have the seven, two sevens here. So this energy is very indicative of having a spiritual element here so this could be you wanting or needing or vibrating at a soulmate level you're wanting to bring in love at a soulmate level you're bringing through your highest path or that's what you're aiming for or that's you know even subconsciously this is what you're moving toward even if it doesn't seem like that uh, consciously the Seven of Cups can mean that you're confused, confused about choices, decisions, and this sort of thing. And I feel this ties in and goes along with this Seven of Pentacles, feeling that there is perhaps an energy here of having a long, having a long waiting period or not taking notice of yourself here. They're bringing this cherishing self energy now, you know, accepting an energy that's also coming into play but you're going to find the right um the right way forward ace of wands yes i love it the ace of wands this is the right way forward here it's passionate it's a brand new start it has the potential to be very successful there's a victory here for you spirit wants to help you with this and it, it does come into balance as well for you, Gemini. You have to have balance. So yes, you've got your what you're focused on, whether that's in the workplace, home environments or relationships. You've got that, but you have to bring it back to you as well. So there's this, there's this balance here because a seven of cups can often mean that you're not balanced, that it, it's too one-sided. And that's why you're feeling like this. You're feeling that, you know, there's... A need for change but you're waiting for that breakthrough you recognize that change is necessary and it is necessary you are going to have a breakthrough this week or coming in very soon for you you are going to move more confidently in your life there is going to be a forward momentum of personal transformation continue on with your efforts it has longevity but maintain balance cherish yourself this week and main, maintain that balance and that energy exchange of self and others. Make sure that's that's equal. You have manifestation power around you. You have all of the all of the information, all the tools in front of you here. You can make this work for yourself. Extremely empowering reading for you, Gemini. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead, and I'll talk to you all again soon.